Here live, I'm George J. Smooth Torres, and I'm here with the one and only, the legend, Mickey Ward. How you doing, Mickey? Good, bud, good. Good. You sound old when you say legend. The legend, all right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you're not old, you're healthy, you're healthy. Hey. So, man, talk about this uh, relationship that you have with Freddie. Oh, Freddie, man, we go back from when I was going back to Freddie from when I was seven years old, I fought his brother Joey in my first fight. So I go back from Freddie since then, so that's 50 years, probably. Wow, 50 years? Yeah, yeah. So, 50 years, yeah. So talk about, talk about March 16th and the gearing up to this fight. Uh, what, talk about the excitement and, and all. Uh, it's not exciting, especially when you get around um, some Irish fighters around St. Patrick's. You know what I mean? Uh, it's going to be a big weekend. It's going to be great for um, boxing. It's going to be great for Irish boxing. It's, just, it's great for all boxing, basically. You know what I mean? So... It's gonna be a great night. Awesome, man. Now, talk to me about some fight predictions, man. Uh, what do you think about Caleb Plant and David Benavides? Oh, man. David Benavides is a, is a beast. Um, you know, he's been fighting. I like David. I know David. Uh, great fighter. Caleb Plant again. Never go against him. He's a tough fighter. He's a great fighter. Um, I just think maybe uh, David is a little too big for him. Um, but again, um, Caleb he boxes his ass off. And he can fight. He can box and punch, as you saw with the uh, the real fight. But um, you know, it's it, it's, it's a pick 'em fight. Uh, but David David's big. Yeah. So it's still a 50-50. Yeah, I would say that. I would say that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So. What do you think that Caleb would have to do to you know to win this fight? Fight like he does. He fights. He's a smart fighter. You know, pick your punches in and out. Don't stand there. He's, he's a big guy. Um, use your small ring general shit. You're smart. Um, you know, pick your punches. And then uh, you should be okay. Don't stand there and try to slug with him. David's long, too. David's got, but people understand, David got a chin and a half. You know what I mean? He hit him all day long. <laughs> And he can fight his ass off, so I don't know. It's, That's right. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Caleb, you know. But uh, it's going to be a great fight. Right, right, right. So what are your thoughts on Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis? Wow. That's another one, you know what I mean? Uh, Tank Davis, I think, is a stronger fighter. Tank's my guy. I like Tank. I love Tank Davis. Uh, he's my guy. I'm going to go with him. But uh, Ryan Garcia, he's a great fighter, you know. He's, you know, he's got... He's got long, he's got long arms, he's tall, he's got the reach, but I think Tank has that, he has that will, he has that, he has that grit, man, uh, he'll, you know, man, he just fights through and fights, and uh, I think he'll, he'll come out on top, but again, it'll be a great fight, I hate to predict because every time I predict, I'm always wrong, so. <laughs> so you're going to say like a 50-50, do you think this fight's going to happen soon? I hope, I hope, we'll see. All right, all right, all right. And my last one here is uh, Devin Haney versus Lomachenko. Uh, all these fights are so tough, you know what I mean? Uh, I might go with uh, Devin Haney only because uh, Devin Haney, even though he doesn't have the experience with Lomachenko, I think he, uh, he can fight. Yeah. In and out, shout, and then punch. Yeah. Tango might be a little bit, a little older now, so I give it, I give it the edge to Haney. Nice, nice, nice. And then we also got mandated at 54. We got Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence. Ooh. What do you think about that fight? Yeah, it's a good fight again. Um, I, but I think Errol, I love Keith, uh, Keith Thurman. You know, as a person, as a fighter, uh, great, great for the sport. Has he been out a little too long? You know what I mean? The fight in Errol Spence is sharp, uh, maybe. I don't know. That's a, uh, it's a hot fight, but maybe Spence, he's so sharp and he's younger, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll go with Spence lightly, I think, but I, but I, my hearts would um, keep doing And for this mega fight that, you know, hasn't been able to happen with the, with the welterweights, we got Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. If they do meet up, who do you have? Oh, wow. Um, Crawford's a beast, so I'll give um, I'll give him the edge. <laughs> give him the edge. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mickey. I don't want to take more of your time. Yeah, well, no problem.